My name is Alastair Meeklejohn. I am Senior Valuer and Business Development Executive at Dare Dallas Valuations. Ooh, um, fastidious, for starters. Um, certainly committed. Um, colourful, I like to think. Um, punctual, I'm a big fan of timekeeping. Um, and assimilative, I, I, I like to gather information from different sources. I think my destiny has always been to do this, this type of thing, but as a, I fought it very hard over the years with uh, certain failed careers in, uh, in drumming in a rock band and trying to be a racing driver, but uh, ultimately I think we, we, we found ourselves where we are for a reason. I'm extraordinarily lucky in the job that I do because I get to see some of the most fantastic things in the country, if, if not in the world. Um, and to be perfectly honest, each story is more important than the item to me. I think the, the items are almost a byproduct of why they're there and, and the people that actually own them. Um, so amongst all the millions of amazing things I've seen, unfortunately, the vast majority of them I can't talk about. This is a bit of a strange one, and it goes to show that uh, it's not all looking at fantastic paintings on walls of museums, I'm afraid. Um, I was with a colleague, and we were in the barn of a client, and there were some fantastic oriental carpets that were situated a little bit of a, a struggle away. And uh, so up two ladders and crawling on my knees in a pair of pink trousers was, was not the most fantastic moment, to be honest, but very memorable. Like, like many people that work in this industry, my, my, my work is my passion and is my life and uh, I've, I've dedicated it, you know, my life to it for the last 15, 20 years. Um, although outside of that, I, I still do enjoy motor racing as a spectator and um, I do enjoy a, a good meal out with a nice bottle of red. For me, the best collections are the ones that are totally unexpected. If you go into a collection and you know what's there, yes, it's fascinating and it's lovely to see these pieces, but for me, the total joy of seeing people's faces when you actually realise that you found some absolutely amazing items that they hadn't realised were there. So there's no one collection that I, I, I long to look through, but there are many collections out there that I will look through over in the next year, 18 months or whatever, that will have some fantastic things in, not just for me, but for our clients. This is an interesting one and um, I thought about this quite long and hard and that there are lots of people that I would I would love to have to dinner. Um, I would say the first one would have to be David Niven. Um, for those of you that don't know David Niven, um, one of the most fantastic raconteurs that possibly anyone could ever have to dinner, possibly along with Graham Hill. Um, but absolutely astonishing character and you could guarantee that the, the dinner table would be full of laughter and uh, and uh, probably, uh, yes, some, uh, some rather rum jokes no doubt. Um, the next person, probably Keith Moon. Um, most people know him, obviously, as being uh, the drummer in The Who, but a total wild card, but just a complete character. And I think there was a uh, certain aspect to his character that were just incredibly interesting and, and a great drummer as well. Um, the third one, um, unfortunately died a couple of years ago, but is, is a chap called Anthony Bourdain, um, who was a fantastic chef who also had a, a really, really amazing TV show um, in the States. Uh, and he visited so many fantastic places and uh, basically involved cooking and travel and everything else in the series. And he was just an amazing, amazing storyteller, an amazing chef, and just you know, a, a, a brilliant guy, to be honest. So, but very sadly passed away a few years ago now. This summer, of course, will be filled with more valuations, which, to be perfectly honest, is what I find doing fun. Um, hopefully, we'll get a little bit of time out and maybe get a bit of time abroad. And uh, in terms of valuations, they may coincide. Who knows? Uh, do I have another talent? Well, some may say I have a few, but I think the one that is probably most notable is that I can, I can amass shoes and sunglasses at a really alarming rate. 
I've been very lucky in my life that I've managed to visit some of the most amazing places around the world and uh, I, I think, you know, of all of those places that I've been to and probably one of the places that I've been to the most is India. But the great thing about India is it's, it's you could have many, many lifetimes and still not even scratch the surface. So as soon as we come out of this situation and hopefully as soon as India come out of their situation, I'll be visiting there as soon as possible again. My favourite film is actually a film called The Darjeeling Limited, um, which is by a director called Wes Anderson. Um, for those of you that know me, I, I quite like luggage, and uh, the luggage in that is, is pretty special. So, if, if not for any other reason, just for that. Favourite piece of music, undoubtedly, uh, a fantastic link back to my youth, um, is an album called Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness by The Smashing Pumpkins. Mm -hmm.